give you some tips on how to make your new year more successful so that you are building up your health and wellness account because that's important to us because we are in our healing journey we want to build up our health account versus depleting it and new year's eve can pose to be one of those times where uh, if we are compromising <laughs> we deplete versus assist ourselves pay attention to is your environment I know some folks are going to different places and um, you need to ask yourself um, when you're being invited to go somewhere, is this hall or this dance place or this concert or this theater location, is it mold free? Is it gluten free? If you've got the celiacs, is there a funky smell, a weird smell that should give you some tips that there's something going on. Um, do not compromise where you walk into and pre-plan again your environment because mold if it is in your environment again mold is happens when there is 48 hours of water sitting okay 48 hours of water damage happening mold begins then that mold can be in the air okay and when you walk into that place this is just basic um education you walk into that place you can pick up those spores in your hair, on your skin, breathing it in, your respiratory, wearing it on your clothes, your coat, tracking it with your shoes. So you go into that place and um, what you end up doing is you cross-contaminate not only yourself, but you cross-contaminate your car when you go back into it and you cross-contaminate your home when you get back home. And because you've walked into mold, you now have given yourself extra work to do on New Year's Eve because you can't just walk in, take off your clothes and hang it where you normally do, your coat, your shoes. You now have to do some remediation before you even go to bed and you have to shower to get all of that off your body. So just saving you from that extra work on New Year's, okay? So plan ahead. Um, and keep in mind that when you breathe in mold, even if it's a short moment, that is going to affect you mentally, um, physically, emotionally. It, it, there is a negative effect, especially for those, and I'm speaking to those with mold illness, okay? Remember that. We will breathe it in and it will affect us and it will create some sort of a depletion in us. The more that we are getting healed, the more, yes, we can be in confrontation with mold and it not deplete us as much. But I'm telling you, it's better to stay away and choose safe locations, investigate those in advance, don't feel obligated versus doing it and just feeling like you don't have a voice. You need to use your voice. The other thing is, I'll be honest, sometimes we feel like we're a loser or we're inconveniencing those that we are around and so we don't speak up fast enough. And then we're sitting in that environment longer and longer, just trying to decide how am I gonna tell this person, this place is not safe for me. So consider vetting the locations before you go. Your environment is important of how you're going to spend New Year's. Consider that. So the other thing, last thing I'm gonna chat about is your sleep. Do not compromise your sleep. I know New Year's is all about staying up past midnight, bringing in the new year. But those of us with a chronic illness, with mold illness, with um, infections, just with other illnesses or even disabilities, our body needs extra rest. Our body needs just the basic even. And when we are ill, it is, it, it's like a war just trying to get your basic hours of sleep every night. So why would we give up extra hours of sleep when we're still fighting for our health? I'm just saying, okay? So New Year's is not more important than our body and our needs. I'm just letting you know. But there are times when we can feel, because we are ill, we can feel like we're kind of the left out. We're a third wheel. We're the oddball. Um, well, I'm here to tell you sleep can't be compromised when we're ill when we are trying to get healthy. We're not trying to deplete ourselves to start our new year off weak. The goal is to start our new year strong, correct? And to start our new year off with a new goal of filling our well and letting it be overflowing versus let's just drain it and start over. 
And a lot of times those are the kind of decisions I used to make is, well, I got about this much. If I do this, I've got, you know, if I only have half a cup and now if I go out and do this event, I'm going to be down to 1%, but I still got two weeks off so I can spend that time in bed to recoup. What kind of a vacation is that? Just saying. Set yourself up for success versus needing to pay the cost and recoup from lacking that sleep. So how could you work around that? Creatively, your body repairs itself during sleep as well as it detoxes. And I just wanna make sure you don't shortchange your body's needs. So the way that you can work around that is if you've got, um, if you've noticed, you know, there's a lot of different time zones all across the country and almost all day long, somebody is celebrating the new year coming in. So why not change <laughs> your time zone of when you celebrate New Year's? Okay. So if you go to bed at eight, let that be your New Year's eight o'clock or 750. Um, and ask the friends that you want to celebrate it with, ask them if they're willing to turn their clocks back with you and celebrate it on a different time zone. And even if time zones didn't exist, ask them to celebrate it with you at this particular time. So you feel like you got to engage in that tradition if that's important to you. For me, I just go to bed when I need to. I've had the discussion with my husband and we don't feel like we're losing anything. He knows the value of my sleep. But for those of you that that tradition is important, that's just an idea. So bring the new year in early and then also create new traditions and just find a way to still make it special, even though it's not the 12 o'clock mark um, like everybody else is doing. OK, do the pre-planning, value yourself. Remember that you are more important than a holiday. And start your new year off the goal of having a full tank to be running off of, of good health and with no compromise that you've done and you'll be feeling proud of yourself going into the new year. So just some thoughts for you and encouragement. Happy new year.